quick video to show how to export an animation and all you have to do is click on the output which looks like a printer set your resolution x and y 1920 by 1080 is good that's uh, standard hd perspective should be fine 24 frames per second is fine output you'll want to set the folder so just click here and find a folder where you want to output this is set to temp which is which is fine for me but you can set it to whatever you want you could actually take take a folder on your computer and select that and so you know, now you can see I set mine to user Kingsland temp uh, overwrite if you want that's fine for an animation for a still PNG is fine or JPEG but for an animation we want to set this to FF MPEG video and the other thing we'll need to do is set the video codec and H.264, which yours may be set to by default. Uh, that's a good choice. H.264. Once you've done that and your frames are all set up, you've set your end frame. And the end frame can be set by going to uh, the timeline. And in timeline, start frame is 1, end frame is 80. Uh, you would set whatever you want for your end frame. I'll set this to 10, so it'll just do 10 frames. And you can see it does change in the timeline here as well, too. Uh, with all of the output settings set, all you have to do is go render and render animation. And this may take a little while. You'd navigate to that folder and your file should be there ready to go. All right, that's it. Over and out.